Um, in Virginia, Cree Deeds has gotten national attention for what happened with him when his son, his mentally ill son, attacked him. He's looking to press for better mental health uh, laws in the, in, in the state, more funding for the mental health agencies. When you stepped away from public life and cited uh, depression, I think was... Yes. Um, tell us something about that and what you've seen in the meantime and what whether you've ever talked to Cree Deeds about what can be done more on the governmental level. Where the situation, where I know it's a personal matter for you to talk about, but I think it would help people to understand that, as Cree D said, this is not, you know, the mind is just part of the body and we need to address it. It's a, uh, mental illness is, is a uh, horrible situation. Depression is a horrible situation. I was suffering from major depression and pulled out of the race for governor because of that to get myself healthy again and to connect with my family. And, and I really, I describe it as the two years that I lived in hell. Uh, where there was no joy, no hope, just despair all around me. And, you know, sort of gamely put forward myself as county executive and doing my job. Um, uh, but I announced I had to, I had to pull out from, from my health. A and what was very gratifying to me at the time was the Mental Health Association told me that within a week of my announcement, they had over a thousand people call them looking for help and treatment. And uh, this is something that I think more people need to talk about. There still is a stigma attached to mental illness. I, th I think more men in particular need to talk about depression, need to talk about mental illness and put themselves up as, ro as role models. I know Terry Bradshaw, uh, uh, Mike Wallace, there are you know, a lot of people doing that. I think more men uh, need to do that. Uh, in, in terms of uh, government services, I, I think there's a real training issue that needs to play take place. And we wanna make sure that our jails don't become the uh, de facto mental hospitals. We want to make sure that as our public safety officers deal with people suffering from mental illness or autism is, you know, a horrible thing happened up in Frederick County, that they know how to deal with that and can prevent loss of life, loss of, or, or injury. Before we uh, go with that, have you spoken or have you followed the Cree Deeds story? I, I've just followed it through, through the papers. I mean, a very horrible, horrible situation uh, and, and, you know, someone who, who's dealt with it personally, but also my family has it. My father, uh, his father uh, had a history of, of mental illness. It's something that um, really strikes close to the heart. Okay, thank you. Thank and you. I know that I called Doug Duncan when a friend of mine was suffering with depression, and he kindly talked with my friend, and it certainly helped. Well.